looks a little tired after that rescue. <laughs> Hope she's doing all right. Oh, yeah, she's fine. She's so uh, glad that the uh, Gilbert Fire folks uh, made that happen. Outside right now on your Wednesday evening, how about this? 64 degrees, calm winds, humidity and dew points pretty dry, right? It's a pretty nice day, but I want to show you the calendar. Once again, we're now 17 straight days above normal temperatures. Our, we hit our high today of 81. That's five degrees above average. We have not had a normal or an average or a below average day at all the month of November. Where are the 70s in the forecast? Well, they might be one or two on the seven day. Temperatures outside right now, it's dry up in the high countries. So that means the lows are dropping pretty quickly. 27 in Flagstaff, 26 at the Grand Canyon. We're in the 60s right here in Phoenix like we showed you. And here's a look at tomorrow's high. We're going to tick up a couple of degrees. Same thing down in the south central deserts. Mid 60s uh, along the rim and about 58 degrees in Flagstaff. We're going to see some sunny skies and then a little breeziness from the east tomorrow afternoon. You see those uh, clouds clear out. High pressure is still in charge, keeping the storm track well to the north. Now, early Friday morning, I'm going to really hit this hard tomorrow. Partial lunar eclipse, full beaver moon tomorrow night. It's going to peak around 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Oh, this looks not good for the cloud cover. It's a thin cloud cover, so I still think you're going to be able to see the uh, partial lunar eclipse. I'm going to walk you through it all day tomorrow as far as the timing. Timing is another issue with this little bad boy up here. It's going to bring us a little cooler breezy conditions over the weekend, but I wanted to point this out because it's going to pass to the north. We're going to be fine for Friday night playoff football, high school football, but look at that low diving into the Central Plains Monday, Tuesday. What's happening Wednesday, busiest travel day of the season. That could be a big storm maker in the Central Southern Plains. We're going to keep you updated on that as well. But we are looking nice. We're going to look at a cutoff low that might ride over top on the back side of this high, but it's going to be pretty much moisture starved. But we could have a slight chance of showers come Wednesday of next week. Hey, Ironman sold out on Sunday. Athletes from around the world, look at those temperatures that they're going to be swimming, biking, and running in. Absolutely perfect temperatures. There's our lows tonight, right around 54 here in the uh, Valley of the Sun tomorrow. Yeah, we are going to see some sunny skies. A little breezy out of the east in the afternoon. Lunar eclipse early Friday morning. Maybe set your alarm. Going to walk you through tomorrow. Saturday and Sunday is looking really nice. And okay, Yetta, there's a couple of 70s. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah, you got, and maybe you got even a slight thing. chance of rain okay. on Wednesday afternoon up in the north and east parts of the state. Hey, I asked you for more 70s yesterday. And I'm working on it. You delivered. Thank you, Scene.